Hey guys, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com and today I'm actually going to show you something that's totally different than what I've shown you thus far. You may have seen that we've actually started to give you an in-depth look at our setups at home and how we bring the content to you on PocketNow.com. Now so far Brandon and Joe have both recorded their setups. Joe had his server room and Joe had his awesome triple monitor setup. Today I'm going to show you mine. If you haven't seen Brandon and Joe's yet, there's actually going to be a link here and a link here, so please feel free to go watch those. Let's go ahead and jump into mine. All right, guys, and we're back. And the first thing that I'm going to show you is actually very similar to what Joe showed you earlier. He has the server closet. Well, in my room, we actually have a utility closet, which houses our networking gear. Um, which is simple as a modem itself, a wireless router, and then an A-port switch. Uh, we have lots, as you can see here, lots and lots of cable. Uh, this is, I have Comcast, so this is the Comcast modem that they give you when you have their digital voice, the cable, the internet, the whole nine yards. As you can see, they do a great wiring job, um, <laughs> and we'll, we'll leave it at that. But I did want to show you that just so that I could show that it does somewhat have a comparison to Joe's. Granted, you know, I don't have the storage in my closet. Um, I was thinking about putting it here. I do have it in a separate area, but I don't have a server like he does, and I definitely envy him for that. I'm, I'm pretty jealous of that setup. It's really nice. But moving on to my computer where everything happens over here. We have a mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. This is the i7 model. Uh, it only has 4 gigs of RAM. I'm, I'm going to be upgrading it to 8 eventually, uh, probably very soon with all the video editing that I've been doing for the high-def video and such. But it is the 15-inch i7. It's pretty fast. Um, I have the high-res screen on mine, which is very nice. As you can see next to it, I have a 23-inch, just a standard old HD Acer monitor, which unfortunately is a little hard to focus on to because of the, the little light, but as you can see here, it's showing pocket now with plenty of space here on the sides. No issues whatsoever. So what I like to do is I can click and drag a window from one screen to the other uh, with the Mac functionality built right in, which is very nice. You know, I can take this window here, bring it over here if I want to, whatever it may be for that matter. Um, it's a great monitor, it's a great setup, it helps me to be very productive, especially where I may have email on one screen and a video on the other, or homework, me being a student, homework on this screen, research on this screen itself, so it just makes my life easier. As you can see, I also have a webcam here. I do a lot of the podcasting. Uh, I'm on the Simulcast podcast, uh, where I represent Pocket Now, absolutely. Uh, so that's, that's part of my show. I do have a USB headset that I do use to record that show. Now, looking over here, as you can see, lots and lots of wires. Now, this is the Ethernet. I do have wireless in my house, as I showed you, the wireless router, but for the, when it comes to uploading the video, I do want to use the hard wire. Huge speed difference. For me, it's well worth it. Next to that, I have the FireWire 800, which goes to an external hard drive, which I will show you. This is my mini DisplayPort adapter, which goes to this second monitor here. Then two USBs, which is kind of the downside with the MacBook Pro. And then from there, we have the audio jack, which basically brings me to my next shot is my Bose companion speakers. One here, one there, the subwoofer is down below. As you can see there, this is my subwoofer. We have the nice MagSafe adapter, CyberHome, little battery backup, and a regular USB keyboard. The reason why I have that keyboard is because this MacBook Pro does have Windows 7 on it, using Bootcamp as well as the VMware Fusion. So I'm able to use both Windows and the Mac if I need to. As a matter of fact, I do actually plan to run a nice long HDMI converter cable from the mini display port to my plasma over there which I will get to next. Now as I said I have a lot of storage. So on my storage it's a little hard to see but on the left here I have a Western Digital MyBook Studio. This is the Firewire 800 version uh, which is a lot faster for me. That's only 500 gigabyte. It's a few few years old. Next to that I have another Western Digital just a MyBook though and it's a one terabyte now the reason why I have a one terabyte and a 500 gigabyte is it's, it's funny you may ask. This one terabyte is partitioned into two spots. 500 gigs of that is backing up my MacBook Pro here with Time Machine. The other 500 gigs is a copy of this drive. So I've lost drives before. It may sound redundant to you guys. I've lost drives before. That's the best way for me to keep track of it. So I'm guaranteed not to lose it. Up here I have a Calvary, just a, a no-name uh, drive. It was a gift. It's a 160 gigabyte. I put purely movies on there. Um, you know, if I want to watch a movie or whatever it may be, that's on there. And then I have a two and a half inch drive. This is my portable drive for files, mostly pictures. If I'm out on the, on the road and I take a picture, put on the MacBook Pro here, it goes right here. And then that glow you see in the back is a USB hub 
which again, I've watched you this camera doesn't have a light, but there's a lot of wiring going through there. As you can see down here, it's, it's a rat's nest. Now, again, all my editing takes place on this guy right here. It's on a M design rain stand. So it makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of do my editing and more ergonomic, which I'll show you there. It's all the wiring coming through. So it's a nice design. Uh, it's a, just an accessory base that takes your MacBook or any laptop for that matter and stands it right up. And I'll show you a better angle over this way. It makes it a lot easier for me to use it. Sit in my chair, which my chair is very different from most people's. It is the AK. AK makes is a company that makes gaming chairs. So AK, as you can see here, it's the Octane. That's their version of the computer chair. Now I have a Berber carpet. I didn't want to use one of those plastic mats. I'm not a fan of them. Now I got this chair, as you can see here, because it has the rollerblade wheels. So I'm able to move smoothly on the carpet without an issue at all. It makes life a little bit easier for me. But I would say this is a very good workstation for me. I do want to upgrade the RAM to the 8 gigs because it will make editing video that much easier and that much faster. As you can see here, this is my main device that I use primarily and full time. It is the Sprint Evo. I love it. Came from the Nexus one before. I do miss the, the um, AMOLED screen. But hey, what can you say? You can't have everything, right? I do like the size of the phone. It's easier for me to text on it. And Sprint's more, let's say, affordable pricing for me being a student works great as well. Now, the one other thing I do want to show you is going to be my home theater setup. Now, in the small amount of free time I have, I like to do a lot of gaming. Now, as you can see here, first off, it's a mess. I actually just got back from vacation and I pulled this wall plate off right here. That's why all the wires are just scattered because what I'm actually going to be doing is getting a PS3 within the next week and I'm going to be adding that and stringing up the wiring through the little conduit we have right there. So I have to pull that plate off. That's why the wires are just on the floor. As you see right there, pretty pretty ugly. But I have a nice old receiver. Um, does the job. It's about four or five years old. I have the new slim Xbox 360 with the, the touch controls. You know, I just press here. Opens right up. Pretty cool. I know this isn't really pocket now relative, but again, this is what I enjoy. Um, and then many of you have commented on the videos. I have the high def DVD player. Rest in peace. Um, and then, of course, the plasma. So this is basically where all my editing and all of my digital leisure, let's say, takes place. Everything you see that I do on Pocket Now takes place here. My backdrop when I record a video of myself is always of my TV in that area over there. So it kind of gives you a better perspective of my studio setup. So once again, guys, this is Jeff Reina for PocketNow.com. Make sure you stay tuned what we have coming because there's a lot of material coming, a lot of cool phones and more. Thanks, everybody.